All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to uh, calculate the number of days in a given time period and put it inside of a page item in uh, Oracle Apex. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new variable here. It's going to be called days in Q1. All right. Uh, once we've created the new page item, uh, we're going to create a dynamic action uh, on this page item. Uh, we're going to set it to fire on page load. You'll notice this will kind of move that over to dynamic actions, but don't worry. We'll say we want to set the number of days, um, and then the, we're going to go to our true action here. Uh, we're going to set it to set set to a value, and we're going to go down here to a SQL statement, returning a uh, a value. Uh, and this is really where the magic sauce is. So you can see that uh, we're going to look at with time between. And in this particular case, we're going to look at the time between um, 11, 30, 21, uh, and uh, 9, 1. So basically, September 1st to the end of November would be the quarter one in this example. Uh, and this is how we can insert those dates and get the value. So let me just make sure the syntax is correct. All right. And last but not least, we need to tell the dynamic action to set uh, which page item to set. So I'll go ahead and hit Save here. And I'll run the page. And you can see here that we've got 90 days uh, that are in Q1. Now, just to show you that this is working, I'll go ahead and modify this. Come back to our page and hit refresh. And we can see that it recalculates the days. So handy little trick uh, if you're building finance reports or other applications to use that sort of information in Apex.